Hello everybody, welcome back to Bandwagon Sports. Today I am here on the official HLM page, and I did make a video um, a, a week ago going over that HLM 22 is being released, and today I'm here to show you guys all of the new features that are going to be in the game. I'm really excited to take a look through them all, and uh, I decided to bring you guys with me, so let's go. Let's take a little scroll here, so... Waivers. Okay, waivers. Eligible players must pass waivers be before being assigned to the minor league. Yes, that's that's waivers, which I'm really excited about. Uh, set to a minimum overall and potential for waivers alerts. Okay, so you can use a slider to uh, get notifications on certain players. League expansion can set an, any number of teams from 6 to 64. For a new career or ongoing career through expansions and folds. Okay. So you can make like kind of a, um, a, uh, what's the, the super soccer league in Europe, whatever it's called, where there's like relegation and stuff. You can, uh, demote the last place team and bring another team in, can set the number of divisions and conferences, names of the division, change the minor league divisions, can set the number of games from eight to 82, can set the number of draft rounds. Uh, playoff participating teams from 2 to 32, the playoff seeding, playoff best of, wow, there's a lot. Add multiple expansion drafts, can set your protection list, there's just so much with expansion this year. Wow, so a lot of a lot of expansion stuff added. This is probably the one I'm most excited for, the junior leagues. I've wanted junior leagues in this game since HLM 19. Um... Just because to get the, the junior stats is such an important thing, at least for me. Added three junior leagues, the QMJHL, the OHL, and the WHL junior teams can be followed, which is awesome. The, the lineups, the games, the stats. So it's even more in-depth than EA Sports' NHL with kind of the scouting system at this point. You can see, let's say a first-round uh, uh, player... 65 games has 45 points but he's playing on the fourth line and that's really good production just for an example you can really get a lot more in depth with scouting so yeah um each rookie is assigned to a junior league and you can disable the junior leagues i will do no such thing battle royale so this is interesting each season the five worst teams are eliminated until only one remains can set the number of teams eliminated per season to one to five um you know what i might actually experiment with this battle royale option we could have my main gm mode which i'm not going to release the team i almost did say it but i'm not going to and uh we could also have potentially a battle royale mode going on where it's a lot more unrealistic and i just try to fight for my life so yeah history mode we can start a career in 1917 1942 1960 1980 2000 or 2010 existing and created players are generated as rookies if they are too young to play in the major league wow okay so you can start your career in 1917 totally rewrite the history of the nhl that's a pretty awesome feature the draft, I'm really excited to see what new draft features are here. Rank of prospect fluctuates throughout the year. That's excellent. I I, uh, I love it when the prospect rankings go up and down. Prospect's rank variation is visible from its profile. That's also another great feature. You, so you can see, let's say in September, a guy's ranked number five, but in, um, I don't know, let's say January, they're ranked number 11. Just the fluctuation of prospect rankings to tell you if they're on the rise or on the fall or if they're kind of just where they were. You can unlock the real rank of a prospect at Tier 4 Scouting. That's always been there. You can now view prospects for the next three drafts. Oh my god, you can really plan ahead now with the drafts. Really take a look at guys that you want. New interface with timer, newsfeed, and in-draft trades. That is a much-needed feature. A clock, a feed, and in-draft trades. The draft was really outdated, so I'm happy that they really revamped that. Uh, you can force the use of original draft pick ownership. Can set the rookie generation odds by country. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, now we got minor league, added minor league trophies and added minor league season records. Okay, so just kind of making the minor leagues a little bit more, um, you know, thought out and stuff. Uh, stats, so there's a lot of new stats added uh, in this year's game as well. Points per game, shooting percentage, block shots, face-off wins, face-off losses, face-off percentage, Corsi 4, Corsi against, Corsi percentage. They're adding frigging Corsi to HLM, like, what the... <laughs> What the hell, man? They're adding friggin' Corsi. A game score, a win and loss streak for teams. Like, 
I'm really excited for the points per game, the block shots, the face-off percentage, all that stuff is really exciting for me so that I can help evaluate my judgment on players a lot more than uh, I do right now with the Minnesota Wild. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. I love how they added more statistics. A play-by-play, -play, you can edit lineup during game, you can change the goalie during game, and multiple overtimes during playoffs. That's awesome, where you can edit your lines if your lines really aren't working during a playoff game, like a big game seven. You can change your goalie in the middle of the game if they need to get out of there. That's also a great feature that I think was overdue. Injuries. Injuries can cause a player to lose overall points. I love that feature. That is something that they have to add into sports games, where if a player is injured with, like, I don't know, a, uh, a year-long injury, then they should be losing overall points, lose up like five overall points or something, and they have to earn them back with, with their play. That's an awesome feature. I love that. Career-ending injuries. Yes, I do believe they have this in... I don't know if it's it's something. Uh, it might not be an EA Sports game. Oh, wait, it might be Madden 22, but this is what NHL needs, career-ending injuries. Like, Shea Weber just suffered most likely. That's awesome. Season injury history and summary, that's good too. Injury history on player profile, that's also a really great feature, so you can see if a player gets injured a lot. And severity of injuries, minor, moderate, or major. Okay, that's excellent. I love the injury system. I think that's really good. Uh, draft lottery you can disable the draft lottery. You can set the number of teams eligible for the draft lottery from one to all. That's awesome. Can set the number of pick drawn. Okay, that's cool. Can set a limit on the number of picks a team can jump and can edit the odds of winning the lottery for each pick. So basically just kind of editing the draft lottery to how you see it fit. I probably won't mess around with that, but it's cool for people who like to have their own kind of custom league tournaments the world cup has an effect on the nationality of future prospects wow that is pretty important that's huge so like if a team like germany wins then you could see quite a few more prospects from germany coming in in the next few uh years which i think is awesome that's really a really cool feature um can set the tournament frequency so that's cool can s control a world cup team wow okay uh can select a world cup team roster and division changes after each tournament okay so uh a lot more uh stuff added on to their tournament system that they added in hlm 21 that's cool that they you know revamped that out a little bit uh kind of expanded it and then settings uh can customize which stats are displayed can hide player overalls and can set the player salary influence to be overall or performance oriented that is very important to me i think that a better uh a better payroll system is definitely in, included. Uh, I'm not included. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I think a better payroll system is definitely going to be very important for this game. And I think the developers saw what, I, what I've what i been seeing a lot where a guy can get like 70 points, be an 82 overall, and get paid $1.5 in the offseason. So I'm definitely going to be setting that to performance-oriented. I think that that's honestly more important than overall. If you're playing better than your overall, then you deserve to be paid more than your overall. Uh, general championship notification for each league yes all-star game oh yes they added an all-star game i forgot about that that's huge that's really awesome older draft history available that's really cool secondary positions that's pretty big as well for drafting players especially for me and also just overall uh, lineup fluctuation that's really cool a search bar that's really good as well. Can watch any game from any team with the new box score page. I'll be excited to review the box score page. New season page showing championship results, stat leaders, expansion teams, folded teams, and relocations. Okay, a lot of stuff there. New season page showing championship. Oh, wait. New season records, win streak, loss streak, playoff streak, playoff drought, cup streak. That's really cool. Improved coaches and ice, and ice time impact on player overall. A lot more player player overall um, stuff. That's really cool. And players can retire as scouts. That's nice. Contracts. Players now show interest in signing with your team. Players can accept qualifying offers. An entry-level contract can slide if the player has not reached the required number of major league games. Okay, that's cool. So a little bit more contract stuff. Rosters can assign a player to a junior league team. That's pretty big. I like that feature. Can set a player o overall team and contract for any history mode season. Can create retired players. Can add player stats. Can create scouts. Can view what is included in the community roster. That's awesome so that I can take a look at kind of what the uh, community roster looks like before I download it. Added team jerseys and can set player injury. 
And that is all, folks. So, wow, quite a lot of stuff being added to this game. And I think this is the most stuff that they've added um, yet in, in the HLM history. There's just so much stuff that I'm excited to experiment with. Um, the I think the biggest one has to be the new draft system in Junior Leagues. Uh, hopefully you guys know by watching this channel that I am a draft fanatic. I love everything NHL draft, I'd like any sports draft I love. And um, I, I just think that van revamping and uh, expanding that draft system is going to be very awesome for me. Uh, it's going to it's gonna make the draft a lot more fun for me and for other players of the game. So I think that's really excellent. A waiver system was much needed. Um, the expansion system is really cool. Uh, the Battle Royale mode, it's kind of like uh, Diamond Dynasty and MLB. It's its a really cool feature. Again, I might be experimenting with that on the side. Um, yeah, I, I think there's a lot of great... Everything they added this year is great. And to just flesh out that overall system a bit more um, and the potential system in the drafts, I think it's going to be really cool to see how this game performs. So hopefully... Uh, you guys know this. I will be making the official review the the same day the game comes out. It'll probably be uploaded a little bit later at night. I will record the video and then immediately after that I will be uploading it. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, uh, this was a review of the new features, going over them, going over my thoughts on them. And I'm really excited to play this game now that I read this. I'm super pumped, super, super, super pumped. And I cannot wait to get into the next GM mode. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you in the next video. But for now, bye.